Okay, so this is a continuation of a talk on the degree difference test, which is a test to determine whether certain kinds of integrals and summations converge. Uh, up here we have we have the rules for rational functions. P and Q are polynomials, and uh, and we are looking at uh, integrals and summations where we are not bothered about the denominator becoming zero because we adjust the summations accordingly. And these two are unsigned. There is no sign alternation as when you are large enough. The signs are uniform. These two are are sort of oscillating sign versions. Okay, and this is what the rule says. And you can watch that video to learn more. Now, what I want to say here is that you can actually generalize this a bit to situations where p e and q are not polynomials, but they are sums of power functions. So, so what I mean is, you could have an, a situation like this. P k is, let's say, k to the three over two plus five k to the four over three. Minus two root k. Okay. Now this is not a polynomial, mm -hmm. but you notice that that it it involves sums of powers of k. Okay. Now what is the degree of? K? How would you define a notion of degree for the sum of powers? With the highest degree. With k. A degree of p is the largest exponent with a non-zero coefficient. In the same way as you define degree of a polynomial. Now in this case you have to compare the exponents 3 over 2, 4 over 3 and what's the exponent here? One half. One half. What's the biggest of those? Three. 3 over 2. This one. So the degree here is here its degree is 3 over 2. Now, if you if you are looking at the situation where both p and q are sums of power functions, and uh, and you have this notion of degree, then indeed, what you can use exactly this rule to figure out whether you have the convergence rule. Okay. So they take an example. So and you can even do things which involve composing such things. Uh, so you can even do composites of such things, which may not necessarily themselves be sums of power functions. Let me do let me do a couple of quick examples first. So k to the four over three over k squared plus one. Does this summation converge? What's the degree difference? Uh, so this four over three is all in the exponent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, What's the degree difference? It is q minus p or q minus q. Q. Yeah. They okay, let me see. Yeah, that will be two minus four third. Hmm? That will be two third. Okay. So which case do you get? Uh, the second case is greater than zero and less than or equal to one. Okay, good. So you are in this case, and what is this case tell you? Second case. The first one and the second, the first and second case don't Devo, diverge. Devo. So we are actually here, right? Yeah. So this diverges. And the degree difference is less than one, so the unsigned summation actually diverges. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, suppose I gave you. Just the same thing, but with with a sign here. Then you'd have the same thing here, but now what would be your conclusion? A converges it conditionally. Converges, yes, it converges, and if you want to be more specific, you can say it converges conditionally. Okay. Uh, let's do something which which is not itself a sum. Of, it's not sum of power functions, but it's it's sort of like a composite of such things. So. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the degree difference will. What's the degree of the denominator? First? 
Three. Three. So you sort of you're decomposing things and the degrees multiply. So three mm -hmm. minus one. So the degree difference is two. Uh -huh. So so a converges absolutely. That was absolutely right. And uh, let's do an integration. So. Does this convert? No. No. What's the degree difference? One. One. And so you are here. And it's, it's, it's the first type of thing. So that was just. Okay, good. Uh, you actually, this, 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 this thing with integration is quite useful when you have to figure out whether uh, you, have, you have some kind of distribution which is given by a uh, power law type of thing, and you have to figure out whether the uh, uh, standard deviation and mean deviation and all are defined. It usually boils down to computing, checking whether some integral like this converges, and then you can just use degree difference to figure out. Okay. Uh, what happens? Okay. Now let's do do a even more general case where p and q are not actually involved sums of power functions, but now we allow them to involve logarithms. So what I want to do is I want to make sense of of what is the degree of something like x natural log x. Well, so I'm just going to give you a quick shortcut which works for simple cases and doesn't work in some cases. Okay, and the shortcut is that you treat natural log of any polynomial, so ln x or ln of any polynomial as degree more than zero but less than any actual positive number. So I write it zero plus it's just like slightly greater than zero. Okay? So by the way, this is this is a very sort of tricky thing, like confusing. So you can ignore this. The rest of it doesn't depend on this. Okay? So you have this and now you can uh, when when you have when you have to take differences, so okay, so if I if the denominator has degree a plus and the numerator has degree b, then the difference of degrees is a minus b plus. If you have a minus b plus, it becomes a minus b. So this is saying the denominator has degree slightly more than a, the numerator has degree exactly b, the difference is has degree is slightly more than a minus b. And here it's saying denominator has degree exactly a, the numerator has degree slightly more than b, so the difference is slightly less than a minus b. Okay. And uh, if you have b, then it's indeterminate because you don't know which slightly more is more. Okay. I mean, you cannot just directly see. You have to actually look at the expression. Okay. So. With this, now, now the rule, the thing here. So with this in mind, so this case would become one. Okay, so. So, so the first case becomes degree difference should now be greater than 1 plus. So you're not allowed to have, if the degree difference is 1 plus, so let me just write the cases first, I'll explain. Okay, if the degree difference is greater than 1 plus, it means it's actually strictly bigger than 1. Okay? It's not just, uh, it's, it's, it, it's not allowed to be equal to 1 plus. It could be something like 1.1 or 1.5 or something. It's bigger than, then you, then you have the same rule as this. Okay? Mm -hmm. if, if the degree difference is greater than 0 and less than equal to 1, then you have the same rule as this. Okay? If the degree difference is less than or equal to zero, then you have the same rule as this. So the only uh, inconclusive case is where the degree difference is slightly more than one, but it's not more than one enough to actually be a number greater than one. 
and this case is inconclusive. And you have to use the integral test. You have to go back to first principles and use the integral test. Okay. So in a in a subsequent video, we'll do we'll do actual exams with the integral. So let me just do quick questions of like, does this obviously converge or not? So let's take integral x square ln x dx from five to infinity over x plus one. Does this converge or diverge? It diverges. Diverges. The degree difference is negative, right? Yeah, the numerator is going faster. Okay. What happened if I put five to infinity x ln x over x squared plus one? So this diverged. Okay, what was this? This also diverges. Now what's the degree difference? It's less than one. It's one minus, right? So this diverges. Here, oh, well, we can try the degree. What is the degree difference here? It was minus one minus, right? Okay, so these two diverge. So what's an example of something where where uh, where it's inconclusive? Where you have a degree difference of one plus. Can you give an example? Uh, we can just use. We can use i. We use x squared and x on the denominator, mm -hmm. and then we use x plus one in the numerator. Okay, so this one. And we again start the integration. We cannot start the integration at one because the denominator would be also start somewhere bigger than one. This would be inconclusive because you have two plus in the denominator, one in the numerator, subtract you get one plus, mm -hmm. and that's the inconclusive case. Okay. 